interesting, the chapter 10, the failure immunity, because <clears throat> it talks about how, like, a lot of people think of life as a game, like, oh, there's only winners and losers and not anything else, and so there's, like, a lot of, like, yes, there's a lot of failure in the world, but you can take a lot of um, growth from failure, and that's, like, really what it's focusing on, and as I mentioned in, like, um, the last um, video, I was saying how, like, yeah, because just because something like went wrong, like, or you don't like it, like, doesn't mean you can't take something good out of the situation. And it's like, that's what they were talking about with the, um, exercise at the end where it was like, you look at your failure and, oh, was it just a screw up? Was it a weakness of yours that you can like end up fixing? Or is it a growth opportunity and like what really happened in it? And so like a couple of mine were not making cheer, which was essentially a growth opportunity. Like I, I'm really bad at dancing. And so like, I just should have known that, but I tried out for four years in a row and I never made it, but it's okay. I found out that I really liked lacrosse and like I'm way more of a sports person than a cheer person. And so like through that, I like met a whole bunch of friends. Like I actually had a place at Whitworth, like a lot of that went really well. Um, some things like being late to work was just a screw up and then, um, like missing plans with friends and then like not doing very good in school like I said those were just weaknesses I was like I just still need to like learn and grow off of those two and so um I really liked that and how it's like honestly really just like look at what your failures are and then take them as like more of a growth opportunity or like what you can fix like yes you do have scripts but um it says like life's an infinite game like no winners or losers and then it's also saying like um, life's a process and not an outcome and I think the process one is really like just good to think and sit down about because like you learn so much from just like the people around you and like your failures and like um you don't grow unless you fail I've I've felt is like really present in my life like yes like I failed in a couple of like my like boyfriend relationships and like yes I failed but like I learned from those like I learned how to really intentionally be with myself and really love myself and be confident in myself and just like through going through like such heartbreak and then like becoming like my real self I've learned that like I am very much a person on my own but for someone to come alongside me eventually and then like grow with me will be my like my ultimate goal like yes it's not now but like it's in life is a journey uh, but like just, like, things like that. Like, yes, my, like, relationships didn't work, but it's not, like, I took that as a complete failure and I, like, thought so down on myself. Like, I learned how to regrow and, like, build myself. And, like, yes, I um, just did this last semester and I was, like, I hate finance. I can't do this anymore. Like, I changed my complete major. I had to, I'm really behind now, but, like, like, we were working through it. And, like, yes, it's a journey and it's hard, but... Like, it's not something that's a failure to me. Like, I think that, like, just because I got a C in one class, like, oh my gosh, like, that. yes, that's, like, not like me, but still, like, putting my best effort into something that I really struggled in, like, really was, like, a process. And also, like, now I'm learning how to do, like, leadership well, like, lead others well, which is very fun because at both my jobs, I feel like I am very much a light in that situation or like in that environment and so like same with like at Whitworth like yes I don't like it but then like it's a journey on and like through everything I'm just learning and so I don't know it's really hard to see like yes I've said like oh I suck but I've never really actually said like I failed because I don't think that like, how this book is saying, like, it's not a failure, it's just a journey, and it guides you to where, like, I've said that almost, like, my whole life, and so, like, yes, I do, like, go through struggles, which everyone does, and so, but, like, through that, I, um, really just, like, um, through failing, like, I've, failing, I've learned, like, how do I grow off of that, and so, like, I do, I did essentially like how it says, like, categorize your failures, like, as a weakness, and then, uh, I'm just, like, a mess up, and then, like, how you can grow from either of those, and also, like, a growth opportunity, so it's, like, through those, you, like, categorize them, and then you identify it, and once you identify it, you actually, like, then realize, like, okay, was that just, like, an oops in my head, like, 
yes, everyone has those. Or was it like an actual weakness? Like, is it consistent? Like, am I consistently missing like my friend? Like, or like, am I consistently not doing this right? And then like, it comes to a like thing where, oh yes, I should change. Or with my growth um, opportunities, like really like where was I placed to that specific purpose? Like what time of my life was like, now looking back at it what was so wrong and like why did I go through that and like now where am I at and what was really the lesson off of that that's what I really liked about on this chapter and I just think that like really identifying it and like going through um like I didn't have very many that I like wrote down but that's just like they're not in my head right now because a lot of them have like have been my growth opportunity and so then I really like how it honestly it's just like build a habit of like converting these into growth opportunities and so like as I do this like per month I'd be like did I really fail and like what can I do to fix that and like as you're doing that you constantly are growing and so I really like the habit of like doing it like once or twice a month because like at the end of the month be like okay what did I do what's consistent and what's failing and like why is it failing and what can I do better and so then it's a constant like I'm getting better I'm getting better like rather than just like a tearing down and thinking that you're a failure because no one's a failure it's just an opportunity to grow and how can we fix ourselves to actually be the best us we can be